Shots of burn. Shots of burn. Black. Black. Take a shot, take a shot, take a shot. Shots of burn. You can take it straight up on the rock. Shots of burn. On this platform, it goes down. Shots of burn. They know it ain't no cap on shots of burn. I'll take a shot. What up, what up, what up, everybody? If you new here, you know what to do here. Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and welcome to the Shots of Brown family. Listen, though, I was out and about just riding, handling some business, and I had something on my mind that I wanted to get off my chest. So I pulled over and I'm about to get it done. So look, so I see that, uh, you know, they got a whole new little thing with the um, Bobby Christina Foundation. They got the gala again that they doing. I think they it's somewhere in October or September or something like that. But yeah, they back, they back, they back on the, um, let the Etheridge family eat off a of cursy wave again this year. So if you've been following Shots of Brown for a while, you know, last year I covered the Bobby Christina Foundation and the shenanigans that they pull every year where they, where they, uh, come and they, they ask the fans for them for money and all this, that, and the third. Last year, I think they were trying to raise like three million or five million. I forget what it was. But, um, but basically they get the money and they don't do nothing because you never hear nothing about the Bobby Christina Foundation until it's a gala coming. But, um, I seen that Bobby, my uncle, um, my mother's brother, posted something on his page in honor of Chrissy. It just struck me as kind of odd that as much money that Alicia makes off of Chrissy in her namesake, that you would have thought that she would have said one word in the video, rest in peace, Chrissy, we miss you, Chrissy, thank you for feeding my family, Chrissy, something, something. But it was not one word that came from her, and that kind of struck me like... I didn't like that. You know what I'm saying? I really didn't like that. It's like, you know, you're able to provide for your family off of Chrissy's name. Bob lets you get away with it because, of course, he's eating off it, too. I'm not saying that Bob don't got love for Chrissy or he don't love Chrissy, but he's letting people take advantage of Chrissy's namesake. You know what I'm saying? For their benefit. And I know, you know, I've been wondering, not even wondering because I know the answers to this. But why no, why nothing in honor of Lil Bobby? Why isn't there a Bobby Brown Jr. Foundation? Um, something in memory of Lil B, know what I'm saying? Uh, you gotta keep his legacy alive too. You know, he didn't, he didn't leave no children or nothing behind, so, you know. Um, but it seems like y'all just trying to fade him away. But the reason why there is no Bobby Brown Jr. Foundation is because Alicia doesn't see the money in it. I'm going to just be real. Um, Alicia doesn't see the money in starting a Bobby, Bobby Brown Jr. Foundation. She doesn't see the benefit in it. See, they only started the Chrissy Foundation because of who her mother is and her namesake. They knew that Chrissy's name was going to draw all Auntie Whitney's fans to it. You know what I'm saying? And that they could really reap the benefits and really get some good money coming from using her namesake. Although Bobby, on the other hand, his name isn't really as big as Bobby Christina. You know what I'm saying? So, it was like, nah, why? we ain't gonna do nothing in honor of Lil B. We'll keep it, we'll keep what we got going here because we already reaping the benefits good over here um, using Chrissy's name. If we use Lil Bobby's name, we have to work a little harder. I mean, it ain't gonna be as easy as it is with using Chrissy's name. Which really sucks though, because it's like, you know, Lil Bobby wasn't honored in his in while he was living. 
and he's still not on it in his death. Know what I'm saying? Even when Lil B passed away, Y'all made it a big issue with the money. Yo, we don't have the money to bury Lil B. Y'all hounding his mother, this, that, and the third. You didn't even, I mean, want to bury your son properly, dog. You didn't bury your son properly. Know what I'm saying? You didn't have, oh, I don't have the money to bury him. Cremate him. So Lil B ended up being cremated. Um, because you didn't, you know, you didn't want to bury him. You made the money an issue. Which is crazy. I'm gonna spend my last dime. If I lose one of my children, God forbid, I'm gonna spend my last dime to make sure that um, I send them back home the right way. But it's just, it's just a lot of shit, man, that I don't like, that I don't agree with, and that I'm gonna start speaking, up, speaking out on a lot more. I can't say I'm the voice of the Browns and I'm not really being the voice and speaking up for the shit that needs to be spoke up on. So, I'm on it now. Um, I know I started this journey a while back, and I I'm, I haven't been consistent, but I'm about to really, really, really turn this channel to fuck up for real, and really just put the truth out there and speak on a whole lot of shit. Just not just family, but a whole lot of shit. But um, Lil B, I love you. Chrissy, I love you. Auntie Whitney, we coming up on your B-Day. I love you. Ma, I love all y'all. But, um, hey, yo. I like what y'all did, too, with the whole, um, I like what y'all did with the whole Bobby Christina Foundation website. See, y'all knew I was on y'all ass last year, and y'all put a lot of information on there last year about how much money y'all wanted, and boom, 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 and I called it all out. This year, I see I went on there. Y'all didn't really put a price on it, but y'all got the tickets ranging from $350 all the way to $8,000. Once again, last year, I asked y'all to do something what y'all show the people what y'all do with the money with with the bobby christina foundation y'all still don't have no homes in the namesake of chrissy there's still no home front for for women who's going through abuse there's no uh, bobby christina homes that these people can go to so y'all really like a third party taking all this money and doing nothing with it pocketing it making sure the etheridge family lives good for a year Okay, we made such and such a money. We're gonna live good for the year. Next year we'll 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 do it again and we'll keep keep living off of Chrissy's name. I'ma tell y'all, every time, every year, I'm gonna come back to this. Every year we gonna we gonna go back and forth with this, cause nah. I'm sorry, Etheridge family, but y'all can play them suckers. Yeah, them suckers, the rest of the Browns, yeah, y'all can play with them like that, but um when it come to me and the ones that I love, it ain't going down like that. And the Browns know, um, they know that. So yeah, anybody who's looking to support the gala, donate some money in Bobby Christina's name, you make your own decisions. But I put you up on game and I let you know what's going on. But if you want to be a supporter and give your money to Alicia and her family for them to for them to be comfortable, then you do so. But my real supporters and real people who know what's going on, we back on it and we ain't supporting nothing that got to do with the Bobby Christina Foundation at all. It's fake. It's a whole bunch of bullshit. Y'all still haven't produced nothing after all these years. The only time y'all ever mention Chrissy or the gala or anything with this foundation is when you're doing the gala, asking people for money. So, um, Alicia, we need you to we need you to show some receipts. Show the receipts on where this money's going, where this money is being allocated to. What are y'all doing with these funds? Cause y'all don't have shit. There's nothing in Chrissy's name that people can look up and go to. That's all I'm asking. If you can show where the money's going, I will leave you alone. Just show the people where their money's going. And put some respect on my cousin's name. That's all. Once again, y'all, if you're rocking with the content, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and comment. 
button. And also be sure to follow me on Instagram at Shots of Brown. I got hella new content coming. I'm about to really shake this internet up. Shout out to We Gonna Talk About It podcast, Wifey, Tyrika. We got new content coming. Y'all can actually follow her too on Instagram, WGTAI podcast underscore two. I'm gonna drop it all in the comments. If y'all rocking with me, y'all make sure y'all subscribe, follow, all that. And if you a real SOB family member, this is how y'all can show me that y'all really rocking with SOB and y'all really a part of the family for real. Share my videos on your platforms. Share my video, my videos on your Instagram story and tag Shots of Brown in it for a follow back. Much love. I appreciate y'all. Today is August 3rd. Man, we got new content coming. Damn that every day, baby. I'm on it. Let's go.